This video will highlight the steps that are required to perform software fixturing or part alignment using the Delta Transformation item within Power Inspect. The alignment will then be used to accurately finish machine the part. The first step is to create an inspection sequence within Power Inspect. The part that is going to be used throughout this tutorial is a milling tool head with a repeated form, but the process is equally suited to parts that have complex freeform surfaces. Firstly, an inspection group is created consisting of three points located on the top face of the part, which are measured with the probe vertical to determine the Z location. Next, the probe is rotated using a combination of orientation points and automatically generated probe head orientation functionality to be able to measure inspection groups around the side of the part, which determines the X and Y locations. Finally, we add two more inspection groups on an adjacent side of the part again to help determine the X and Y location. We've used a combination of safe plane and surface normal multi-axis probing strategies and the safe height is changed from 8mm to 15mm. It is imperative to ensure that there are sufficient inspection points that are predominantly along each major axis if we are trying to accurately locate and orientate the part. The second stage of the process is exporting the probe paths associated with the previously created inspection points. Before sending the program to a machine, it is important to simulate the program. This takes advantage of the built-in collision detection capabilities of Power Inspect. As there are no collisions reported, the probe path is exported, ensuring that the correct post-processor option file has been selected. The third step is to run the probe path on the machine tool that is going to be used to finish machine the part. In this case, it will be performed on a high accuracy DMG Moriseki 5 axis DMU50 Ecoline machining center. To load the results into Power Inspect, clicking on the Importer Configuration icon on the Run tab displays a dialog where the correct results file must be specified. The results are then imported, and using the Report tab, the results can be reviewed and analysed. In this case, significant deviations exist across every inspection point. The first alignment that is calculated is a user-defined alignment, which describes the nominal setup of the part on the machine tool relative to the CAD coordinate system. Now that this has been completed, Power Inspect's powerful best fit alignment item is added. All the inspection points are added to the alignment and the fitting type is changed to min max, which attempts to fit the points within the tolerance band. The appropriate fitting type will depend on whether you are trying to balance stock, minimize machine time or accurately fit multiple features within a specified tolerance. The method drop down in this dialog allows you to specify whether you are using a 3, 4 or 5 axis machine tool. The best fit is now opened and executed and the results can be seen immediately. By navigating to the report tab it is clear that the deviations have dramatically reduced and the part is now completely in tolerance. Stage 6 is the creation of the Delta Transformation Sequence item, which is located inside the miscellaneous toolbar. This tool determines the difference, or delta, between the two specified alignments. Inside this dialog we must specify the two alignments and the coordinate system that we require the delta to be reported in. The seventh and final stage of the Delta Transformation procedure is exporting the realignment data, and there are three export options. The first is the ability to export in terms of NC code. This creates a sub-program that adjusts the current workpiece offset of the machine and reorientates the machine coordinate system or part so that the existing machining NC code can be used to machine the part with little or no changes. 
the second option gives you the ability to export the Delta transformation as a work plane within Power Mill. This allows for the creation of machining operations relative to this work plane. And the third option allows the user to export as either an ITIS or MAP file. This file can then be used with any compatible CAM system. In our case, the NC code will be generated for use with the Siemens controller fitted to the DMU50 Eco line. There are a number of built-in templates for other controllers available as standard, and others can be created when necessary. The file created can be reviewed in a text editor such as WordPad before it is transferred to the machine controller for execution. This very short NC file specifies translations and rotations that are required to realign the part for accurate machining. It is important that the subprogram is executed at the correct instance on the machining program, otherwise this could result in the machining of an out of tolerance part. The translations and rotations can be reviewed inside Power Inspect by selecting the sequence tree delta transformation item and navigating to the info tab.